Hello everyone, so I'm doing a video here on the uh, RDR170, the, the engine cooling system. Uh, I originally had set up a intake uh, k &N air filter down below and I'll show you right now what I'm doing right now. But uh, Initially I had set up a k &N air filter here due to the fact that the factory one has just a mesh on there and it would uh, uh, suck grass, it would get clogged up. So I ended up uh, upgrading to a K&N filter. Uh, now when uh, there's any kind of water or mud riding, the filter clogs up and it starts getting this uh, plastic hot, which will create the impeller inside there to um, uh, get loss of air. And it, it starts uh, getting the engine kind of hot so <clears throat> I did end up uh, buying off of uh, the internet just some 45s and 90s and essentially what I'm going to be doing here is doing a snorkel style so it's going to come up kick out come out the top and just put the can and filter Put the canyon filter up top here. The assembly here, plastic covers, I pulled it off just to make it easier for myself. It can be done from underneath, but uh, I, I pulled it off just to give myself more room. Uh, super simple to take off. You got two screws here, this here, a couple of them on screw from the bottom, Phillips. Uh, you got some number 10 millimeter screws here it's four of them and a plastic little uh, clip here uh, with that pretty much comes comes apart you do gotta pull off that back back piece here which will have like four screws and then a Phillips down underneath super simple like I said I just did it just to give myself some some uh, room essentially what I ended up doing was they and they do sell these aftermarket kits online uh, it's about 130 bucks 120 dollars for a adapter with a can and filter uh, keep in mind even if that billet adapter was purchased it would still have that problem where uh, it gets clogged up and and will um, you know start overheating the engine so this is actually um, I, was, I purchased it off of Home Depot this was a uh, four inch toilet drain I essentially what I did when I pulled the factory piece off I traced it out made a template traced it over the drain cut it out put my holes and then I just added some uh, double-sided sticky tape in there so it'll make a nice seal so now uh, these were purchased offline. They were about ten bucks, I believe, with the brackets. Got a piece of a uh, three-inch pipe. You can buy aluminum uh, pipe. I just got three-inch EMT. It's a lot more cost-effective. Uh, this is a four-inch to a three and a half-inch uh, reducer, so it downsizes it by half of an inch. This essentially is going to go in like this. Pipe will go in here, then the kicker will come up inside here, which is going to travel up through this area here and come out and penetrate on the top, which will be sitting up here. All the cold air will be coming in through here, clean air, and it will um, essentially uh, reduce the chance of it uh, clogging up. So I'll, I'll go ahead and stop here now, and uh, I'll start putting this some of this stuff together, and then I'll I'll show you uh, the final product. All right, guys. So I got the. The tubing all run or ran. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a little 
view of what it's like. So what I ended up doing here was, see a lot of people uh, remove the, the air box and run the intake snorkel or you know stub it up up top here as well. Uh, I wanted to keep the factory air box so I wanted to run this right along the side here. So one of the things that I ran into it was a limit on spaces. The pipe is so big, it's a, I believe it's a four inch OD outside diameter. I ended up having to, this here was actually mounted to here. You can see where I kind of um, welded a little bit to. Uh, as I was cutting, I cut a little bit into the to the tubing, so I just uh, welded in there. But essentially, I shifted it over two inches uh, to give me some space. There is space. I could actually go maybe another. If I would have put the bracket on the clamp on the other side, I would have gone maybe another inch or so. Uh, so this is yeah. So this is what essentially what it looks like. Clamped it here. Did a 45. I did a three inch uh, piece in between here, so it's got plenty of grip. Came up, seven inch piece in here. This is seven inches long, and I came up, back up, had another uh, three inch nipple here, which that should bring me slightly. Uh, I may have to extend this a little bit more. Once I put the plastic in place, I'll find out. Uh, that was just a scrap three inch piece that I had, so I just put it in there. But now, uh, as I was saying earlier, you'll have the uh, fresh air, clean air coming through the top. It'll get absorbed and cool the engine down. And we won't have to worry about this getting clogged down here, down below. Uh, the filter, literally 30 minutes of riding with the filter being down here, it would get completely clogged. And uh, the motor started getting hot, so especially with kids, you know, they put um, essentially they, they want to keep riding. So uh, you know, I'm just trying to figure out different alternatives. They do have a, a, a kit that comes out here, 90s straight up, and essentially the filter is coming right here at the slant. I don't really like too much the look of that. I rather kind of it actually comes up, and I'll show you the filter. The back piece here but it comes up right about here I didn't really like that it comes up here this is in the slant so then the filter straight so I'm essentially gonna be poking out right here with it I'm gonna create a, 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 a plate here that's gonna be tacked into the the um, you know the pipe so that, that'll be an, an additional support here filter go right on top and now it'll be good so I'm going to start assembling it and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm going to show you what screws you need to remove to be able to take this back piece off here. So you're going to take this little plastic clip off. So you got one, two, three plastic clips. Down underneath here, you have two Phillips tips. The third one here, Phillips uh, screw. So three down below. You got a fourth clip here. So you got one, two, three, four clips, three screws underneath. You have a total of six screws on this back piece. Again, three clips, sorry, four clips on this side, three screws down below, four screws here. These will pull off. 
and you got four screws here with one clip. And then, and this can stay on. I, I pulled it off, but it can stay on. Essentially, uh, it's all put all back together. That's the intake coming out. Gets kicked out, stubbed up. I'm not complete with it. Uh, complete yet, but uh, you kind of essentially get the picture of what it's going to uh, look like. I added two 45s there. You could actually come out and do a 90, go straight up, 90 over, and then 90 up. You might be able to center it out a little bit better if you do that that way. But um, uh, you'll have to figure out uh, a way to. This is on here pretty pretty secure. If you do go the 90 route, you'll have to figure out, uh, you know, create brackets to be able to support it. So now I just got to add the riser. It's coming up right here. Essentially, like I said, I'll build cover here with the filter here. And uh, that's pretty much it. See, so yeah, I got this piece here. It's not quite centered. It's, uh, I would say, maybe about an inch and a quarter offset centered, but it'll work. It gets the, the job done. It won't clog up and overheat the motor and create the motor to, to essentially go bad. Alright guys, so here it is, final product. I just grabbed a three inch hole saw. Hole saw it right in the middle. Uh, this is a K&N air filter underneath with the outerwear. And uh, let's see if I can capture it the underside. So, see the pipe going up, coming over, coming over there. And that should take care of the clogging issues. Uh, I don't understand why Polaris didn't do something like this or on the side here just how they did with the uh, 1000 XP, XP 1000 in turbos. Alright guys, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave the links down below on the products that I did use. And uh, if you have any questions, comment down below.